Let's talk about the Brazilian economy. You had the central bank cut the interest rate by 75 basis points. And yesterday, you had the IMF reducing its growth forecast to 0.2%. When do you expect to see robust growth of the sort that you've talked about? We are expecting uh, growth to start this quarter. Uh, and will be accelerating throughout the year. Uh, if we compare the provision for the last quarter of 2017, this year, with the last quarter of last year, expectation today is around 2% growth last quarter against last quarter. And, but for the whole year, what sort of number do you expect? If you compare average against average, it's a low number because of the very deep recession. Yes. And then uh, the statistical carryover brings the number down by 1%. That means that uh, estimation, uh, estimatives in the market today is about half percent. IMF has a lower number. Yes. And uh, you, we still, have a you were still on 1%, number. but you would expect to bring your number down closer to the IMF number or closer to the market. Now, we are going to revise it. Uh, basically in about two weeks time. But lower than the 1% you would expect? Let's, let's wait and see. You will wait and see. Yes. <laughs> Can we look at another number? The, the interest rate, currently mm. around 13%. Mm. President Temer has talked about that coming down to a single digit you know, in bits. What would be a reasonable guess for when it gets down to single digits? Is it two years away? Is it five years away? What would be, what's your, what's your internal target for, for when you expect that interest rate to come down below 10 percent? Well, uh, we don't have uh, specific targets for the interest rate to have a target for inflation. And evidently, uh, inflation is coming down strongly which has enabled central bank to take uh, steps on cutting uh, the interest rates in a faster pace. But evidently, uh, we have to watch inflation carefully because this, the key here the, is to anchor expectations, inflation expectations. And having established that firmly, then central bank would be able to really keep gradually moving. come down. Yeah. Would you expect to see more drops of the sort of 75 basis point level? That's, that's quite a I big drop. I prefer not to, <laughs> not <laughs> to, to talk about what Central Bank is going to <laughs> well, do or should do, <laughs> because when I was a governor of the yes, Central you, Bank, you I complained about finance ministers talking too much about what I should do. <laughs> <laughs> what about now pension reform, social security reform? That is with the Congress at the moment. Do you expect that to get through? It's worth maybe $200 billion a year to the state finances. When, when, do, you, do you expect that to get through? Well, our expectation is that it's going to be approved by the House of Representatives by the end of March, early April, and eventually approved by the Senate in late May, early June. That's, uh, I think, a reasonable expectation. And is there a kind of compromise that could be hashed out? You're, there still seems to be a, a difference between the government and the, and the Congress. Well, Social Security reform is a controversial one. Yeah. It's uh, subject to very heated debates uh, all, over the, all over the world when it takes place. It's normal, but there are some critical points which are firmly established, like a minimum age, 65, 65. years for men and women. Yes and also some transition period, uh, and, uh, and et cetera. And also, we'll, we are going to, uh, hopefully, to eliminate the double pension. Yes. People get pension because they, they, are, uh, they have a, a deceased spouse, uh, and at the same time because they retired, this kind of thing. But do you, you must, you are a famously prudent man, you must have a plan B somewhere for what you do if you cannot get pension reform. You, you need to do something to get money to come into the government. Does yeah. that mean you, you, you need to tax? What, what, what is the plan B? Well, if Social Security is not approved, the reform, which I think it's going to be, uh, because it, it has to, and we have a very good example now in the state of Rio, Mm. where uh, Social Security is insolvent. 
and has is uh, there is a need to raise contributions dramatically for retired people. That's not good, and that's a good example. I think that that's going to go through. If for some reason uh, it doesn't go through completely or as it should, then there are several other measures. Number one, to to cut expenses uh, in having several yes. other benefits which could be cut. Number one. Uh, fiscal incentives also withdraw, withdraw and evidently in the last resort ra raising taxes. When do you think Brazil will get its investment grade back again? My theory about that is that I do my job, the rating agencies <laughs> do their job. But you must have somewhere <laughs> you must have somewhere an idea about when you think that would be possible. You know, well, you... I hope the sooner the better but I hope that's, uh, that's before 2018. 2018, you just mentioned it. We have we have the election coming up. You know, to what extent is President Temer saying he is not going to run again a, a handicap? Does that make it harder to deal with the Congress? No, I think it it, it makes it easier because it, it it opens the field, and all the several parties which who have candidates, etc., etc., they'll not be worried about President Temer running and they will not be hesitant to support him in his basic agenda reform because uh, we are doing the tough job and uh, that would make life much easier for people who get elected next year. Can I ask you one last question? Sure. This is an obvious one following on from that. You, you are you know, one of the straight men of Brazilian politics. People sometimes talk about you as somebody who would run for president. W would you think about doing that next year in 2018? What I am... 100% focus, focus now <laughs> is uh, uh, getting the Brazilian economy right on track and having Brazil so growing. Be, the I future would, belongs to the future. And, the, and I would be right to read that as a maybe. No, it's, it, it's <laughs> simply the fact that I am focused on doing my job today.